Okay, so I'm Jonathan Madison and I'm the Student Educational Assistant for the Museum of Art at WSU. And this is our Art and Science Laboratory, um, which is a combination of, um, or a collaboration between the Museum of Art and Loose Discovery Science Center. Currently at our Science Center, we teach science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. However, what we're trying to incorporate more is an art component as well. We have uh, four activities. Um, the first one is a time and motion activity, uh, which basically is a, a, the kids draw on both sides of a piece of paper, a fishbowl on one and a fish on the other. And when they attach it to a straw and move their hands back and forth, the image, instead of being two separate images, becomes one image. And it just shows them that um, our eye can only track uh, with movement so fast. So the faster a thing moves, um, the more it, it becomes one simultaneous image. Very cool. And the second uh, project is over here. It's a space and distance project. And uh, uh, that project really has to do with taking primary colors and putting them close to each other on a color wheel. And then when you put that color wheel further away from your vision, you end up seeing uh, the two colors become one, just like as if you had mixed it with your hand. Um, so if you uh, took red and blue and mixed them, you'd get purple. But uh, without even mixing them together, just putting them close to each other, uh, your eyes optically mix it from a distance. And then the third project is a straight and curving lines project which just shows uh, that we can make something seem three-dimensional, like your hand. If, if you trace your hand and you do straight lines all the way up until the contour of your hand and then you start to curve it, it looks like your hand's bulging out of the paper. So it's more of a, a way to create plastic space or in a sense to make something look three-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface. Um, the fourth project is a more of a, an angle project. It's a way of just showing that Sometimes we perceive something, one thing to be longer than another, but when we actually go and measure it, they're the same distance. It's just the angle that they're at, the orientation of the, the line. And so it's another optical illusion that we're, we're trying to show the children. Um, to just show that our, our eyes sometimes can deceive us um, from the factual truth. And, um, and we have many projects in, in this art and science laboratory that illustrate that.